Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making pepperoni bread. Now I know in the end of the last video I said I was going to be making something from my all-time favorite cookbook, All in the Family, but I was asked by my stepmom if I would make her pepperoni bread. Well I made her a loaf and then my girls wanted one so I thought you know what I'm just going to make a tutorial out of it and show you guys how easy it is and how quick and fast it is. Well, I shouldn't say fast. So, let's just go ahead and go over what you're gonna need. The first thing you're gonna need, Walmart in the frozen section aisle sells, sells these loaves of frozen bread. It's frozen dough, basically is what it is. So get you a bag of these. I think there's five loaves in there and I think it's like six, six dollars and something. So a little more than a dollar a loaf. I'm gonna put this back in my freezer. Um, totally worth it because you can make all kinds of different breads. So you can do what I'm getting ready to show you with laying your bread out. How I lay my bread out. You can do that and then add all kinds of stuff in there. You can make, well today we're making pepperoni. So I mean add some pizza sauce and black olives, green olives, onions. And there you got a pepperoni or a, uh, a pizza bread. You know, I off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else. Add some chicken and maybe some Alfredo and chicken Alfredo bread, if that's a thing. I don't know. Anyway, so get you a package of pepperoni. Now, I do want to say, I in our house, we always use the turkey pepperoni from Aldi's um, or Aldi, whatever. Um, the only reason I don't suggest using that in this tutorial is because normal pepperoni will grease a lot. And that is what gives that bread that big pepperoni flavor. So I totally suggest normal pepperoni. And then I am going to be using sliced mozzarella and sliced provolone. You can use whatever cheese you want. I just, I like two different cheeses in it because it gives it a little, a little something something. And then uh, obviously we're going to need some flour. I am going to be using Spam and I'll, or Spam, Pam. And I'll show you uh, the two places we use that. And then get you an egg and a little bowl. And at the end, once we got the bread made and everything, we are going to brush the top of our loaf with a little bit of egg and water to make it nice and um, golden. And the last seasoning, of course I forgot, or I mean the last ingredient is um, Italian seasoning. And I forgot to grab it. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. We are gonna put Italian seasoning over the layer of cheese and then over the top of the bread before we bake it. And that's it. That is all the ingredients you're gonna need. I do have a cookie sheet with lined with parchment paper for baking the bread, obviously. Um, so the first thing you wanna do, this is the part that's not very fast. I take a loaf of my bread, I take it out, and I put it in a bowl. Well, I spray the bowl with the pan first. Put my little loaf in here and then cover it with a towel and let it thaw for, oh, I'd say a good four to six hours just to make sure it's fully thawed. You can put it in the fridge and leave it overnight. But I cover it with a towel to keep flies off of it and whatnot. I'm gonna move all of my stuff. And then what we are gonna do, sorry about that, I bumped my camera. I'm going to cover my counter with flour to keep the dough from sticking and then I'm going to roll it out at roughly, and it does, this does not have to be exact, but like six and a half inches wide by like maybe 17, 16 inches long. Maybe not that long, we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to get my rolling pin. Hey, Jalen. Hold on just a second. All right, I got my trusty rolling pin, my counter floured. Now I'm just gonna take my loaf out of my bowl. I'm gonna drop it and now I'm gonna start rolling it out after I coat it with the flour so it doesn't stick to any of my surfaces. I'm gonna roll it out to roughly six and a half inches wide to, man, I'm going to say about 17 inches long. Do you need something? Pen. Oh, pen. Did 
This is going to take a minute just because it's, you know, frozen, well, well pre-made dough. I realize I'm not on camera. Okay, so you guys got the idea. I'm gonna get mine rolled out off camera and come back once I get it to the right width and length. Okay, finally got that laid out. So we are at about seven inches by 20. That's not bad, good enough, doesn't matter. Let's get this out of the way. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 375. All right, while that is preheating, I'm gonna take my pepperoni. And I'm gonna layer it two pieces next to each other down the center. And probably about two inches from the end of the dough. I'm gonna overlap them a little bit, just like that. Let me bring you in and show you. See how they're, I'm gonna overlap them just a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna go all the way to about two inches to the end of my bread. Try to make sure you're staying in the center of your bread. All right. So I am going to call that good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to get my cheese. Doesn't matter which one you start with. But I'm going to take one piece, and I'm going to try not to overlap them too much because I don't want too much cheese. But just lay them across your pepperoni, just like this. I do the same thing with my other cheese. I'm gonna go right on top of the uh, first layer of cheese. Just like that. Close that up. Come on now, there we go. Now I'm gonna cover it in some Italian seasoning. Here is what we have, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our little cuts to, get that to rotate just a bit, to um, braid the, the uh, side of the bread over the pepperoni and cheese. Okay, so to do that, I want to make sure my bread is nice and out. Make sure I have enough to do this with. Okay, so I'm going to get, you can just do it with any knife. I'm just going to use a knife. Grab one. And here's what I want you to do. I'm going to try to do this one handed. I'm going to come down and make a cut.
It's about two and a half inches long. I'm not even on camera, good grief. Just like this. And I want you to do this all the way down this side of your dough, all the way down, okay? And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do it cut for cut down this side, okay? So I'm gonna get mine done off camera and I'll come right back and show you what I'm doing, okay? I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen little uh, cuts of my dough. Okay? So I'm going to pause for just a second. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is I am actually going to take this top piece right here. And I'm going to cut a bit of it off because I don't think I need that much, but I'm going to keep it just in case. So what I'm going to do is bring one over the top, just like that. Do it again with the next layer and the next and the next. Now keep in mind, I am no chef, so this may not be the prettiest thing ever. But I'm just going to work that all the way down. There's my oven. All the way down. You can tell my strands are getting a little thin. And then I'm going to cut this piece down here just like I did at the top because it's a little much. And then I'm just going to fold it like this. And now if you look, you can kind of see there's some pretty thin parts with the bread dough, right? So I'm going to take some of the pieces that I cut. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to call that good. So now I'm going to take my cookie sheet. And you don't have to spray your parchment paper with cookie sheet. <laughs> spray your parchment paper with Pam. But I'm going to just because I want to re-ensure that this is not going to stick. So I'm going to pick up. Oh, boy. I'm going to pick it up and lay it on my cookie sheet. My cookie sheet. You know what? I'm going to get my bigger cookie sheet. I'll be right back. Okay. I've got my bigger cookie sheet, so I'm just going to transfer this just like that. Now, these are the little strands of my parchment paper that I cut. Good thing I save everything because now I need it. <laughs> All right. Set this aside. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our egg. I'm gonna crack this in a little bowl. Add a splash of water. And I'm gonna take a whisk. I'm just going to whisk that egg and water together until it's fully mixed. Of course, I'm making a mess. That's all right. And you can, uh, you can put your Italian seasoning right in this and then spread it over your bread or brush it over your bread. I am just going to brush mine and then use the, it's my husband's barbecue brush. And then I'm just going to spread the Italian seasoning over the top once I brush the bread. But this is what makes the bread have that really pretty golden brown color.
making sure I get all of the little cuts get the tip in there get it all over there okay now I'm gonna take my Italian seasoning Ooh, that came out quick it's gonna be real seasoned right there it will be <laughs> <laughs> all right now I'm gonna put this in my oven for 25 minutes so I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll be right back and show you guys the finished results all right, I am back. I've got all of my stuff cleaned up. I've got my dishes going in the dishwasher. And I've got about 25 seconds left on my timer for the 25 minutes. And I am so excited because I took a little peek and it's very, very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get gloved up. I get gloved up. Get mittened up so I can take my pan out of the oven. And we've got five, four, three, two, one zero. All right, here we come. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Ooh, beautiful. Get back, mommy. All right, I got my oven off, my lights are off. Right that one off all right okay so I am going to let this cool um, and then I'll have my girls come in here and cut into it and I was gonna tell you guys I was thinking off-camera I bet it'd be really good if you take like a marinara or a, a pizza sauce and just put it in a little cup and then you can have that to dip your pizza bread into pepperoni bread into <laughs> but that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have it so you don't miss what's next. And I hope, I hope, I hope you guys love my pepperoni bread. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.